How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So, we are just sort of getting our morning chores done. So we're getting some milk delivered. We have a nice full tank there for them. So they will love that. I also noticed that they have got another pallet out here, but I haven't been told anything about it. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, so yeah, we have got that done. We'll get the trailer unhooked. We'll get the tractor put away. And then we need to get some TMR out to the cow. So we'll do a mix real quick and get that to them. They will be eagerly awaiting their, um, their morning food, otherwise known as breakfast. There we go. Alrighty. But the main job for today is going to be the corn. We have to get corn in the ground today. Uh, the weather seems to be nice, uh, so I want to capitalize on that. And, um, yeah, get that in the ground. So we'll have to get seeding done. We'll have to get rolling done as well. If all goes really, really, really well, uh, then maybe we can get soybeans done as well today. But, um, yeah, I'm not really banking on it. But maybe if we have, like, a really good day and a really productive day um, without any issues, uh, we'll, we'll maybe try and do that. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, speaking of issues, I just realized that, um, we do not have seed. Um, right. I am gonna have to call, um, Mr. Eddie over at the dealership and find out if they have seed in stock. They should do. Uh, they generally keep a decent amount of stock, so... Yeah, I'll probably have to give him a call real quick. Okay, a bit too much there on the silage, but it's fine. We'll go a bit less on the hay, which actually kind of works out because we don't have much hay um, at the moment. We have to get some hay bales uh, shredded, but um, yeah, it's all about time. I'm trying to just sort of get the fields done and then we'll sort of worry about uh, these things. Anyway, let's get this done real quick. Get that up to about 14,000. Yeah, we're just about out. I don't think we'll get another mix after this. I think that's about it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's another 7,000 sitting over there. Righty. So that just became um, a bit more important. Sort of moved up the um, to-do list a little bit there. Uh, Straw-wise, we're still fine. We don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, we don't use much at a time. There we go. That will do. Okay. So we'll get this out to the cows. And then we'll go grab the John Deere. So we'll be using the 6250R for the seeding. And we'll be using both um, the seeder and the planter today. So we'll use the, the seeder, the red one, um, for soybean if we get to that today and we'll be using um, the blue one the planter for the corn so yeah unfortunately we sort of have um i don't know I, I was gonna say we sort of have the the cedars backwards uh, in the shed but no we are gonna use uh, the planter the blue one first so that'll be nice and easy to get it out and we'll get the the red one um, positioned before we put the the planter back uh, so that we can get the cedar out um, even if it's not today uh, we'll just put it in a position where it'll be easy to get it out and uh, so we don't have to move everything again because it does sort of get trapped in the corner there um, by the blue planter right we are gonna leave this thing just here because it's just a pain um, to get it into there so yeah it'll be absolutely fine in there in fact it'll probably be better in there than in here um right we have to uh, go grab the John Deere. Alrighty. We'll get the um, the seed and all hooked up. And then we'll have to get um, onto the phone. Oh. What's up with the brakes with this thing? Hit the brakes there and nothing happened. The brakes okay? Uh, not great. Might have to look at that. That was a bit, um, dodgy. Uh, I don't know. I just sort of hit the brakes. Maybe there's some, I don't know, some air in the lines. 
hit the brake pedal into the floor and just um yeah shot straight into the road that's no good a bit dangerous there especially on that bend luckily there was no cars righty hey, let's get this thing fired up love this tractor absolutely fantastic i mean i like the the 78 but um yeah that thing is just an absolute beast Right, um, while that is heating up, I'm going to give um, Eddie a call real quick at the dealership and find out if they've got some seed for us and we'll have to um, go pick some up. Alright, so I have got the John Deere with the uh, bag hook on it. Uh, apparently they do have stock there, so I just got eight bags and they said they'll have it ready for us. Um, when we get there so yeah all of this goes onto the farm account i don't have to deal with uh, any of the payment or anything usually you know sometimes if it's something small we'll just sort of do a cash payment and uh, yeah i'll just pay it and the old man will pay me back but um yeah oh i think they have it out there that looks like it fantastic all right the trailer is a bit awkward um with this tractor because i've got the the weight on it so i think um i'll probably just lower that down i'll lift the back wheels off the ground a little bit so you won't be able to drive like that um but i think it'll be better to detach like that okay but i need the weight to use the um the front loader okay i think that's ours i'm just gonna check make sure and we'll be back all right so those are our bags which is fantastic um but eddie also said that he has got a little electric forklift back here that we can use if we want to aha uh -huh. that looks like it i did say that the reach on it isn't amazing so it might not work with our trailer but um, we're gonna give it a go electric lovely nice and quiet the one on the farm is um somewhat noisy not too bad though right we'll give it a go we'll see if um if it reaches because it will be kind of i suppose a little bit easier and quicker with this uh compared to the hook but um yeah if it doesn't reach we'll use a hook it's fine not a big deal uh, can we get two at a time you can indeed lovely righty oh geez okay that is maximum height there so yeah he he wasn't joking can we sort of slide it on there Ooh, just about maybe yeah okay just about oh my goodness righty i mean it's kind of worth it i guess to use this i mean it's close but since we can lift two at a time which we can't do with the hook yeah it's fine and i like forklifts so why not if I get an opportunity to drive one, hell, I'm going to drive one. Okay. Get two more on there. Shouldn't take too long at all this. Oh, why does that seem so low on max lift? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Um, dang it. Uh, we can tilt it a little bit. Maybe get a bit more height out of it. Ooh, that might just be the clearance we need. Okay, so this is close. But it might still work. I was sort of pushing against the bag there quite a bit, and I don't want to rip it, so... But yeah, with a bit of um, tilt in there, a bit of angle, it's working out all right. Okay. See if we can do the same with these ones. The problem is the trailer gets steeper towards the back because I've got it dropped at the front. Angle it a little bit again. Oh, yeah. No, that's working beautifully now. Okay. Lovely. Jobly. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, so this should um, be enough seed to get us done for um, for this season, I think. 
Uh, except for uh, the wheat. I think we'll... We'll get that later on. We don't have to get it now. Because... Yeah, it's going to be a few months before we um, get wheat in the ground. So, uh, yeah. No real point uh, getting the seed for that now. Okay. Last ones. Beautiful. Okay. Well, that kind of worked. I mean, it's it's borderline. It's like right on the edge of what this thing can reach. But um, eh, it's fine. It works. Why not? Righty. I'll leave that there for them. Lovely. I wonder where they actually keep this thing. Because I haven't seen it around here before. Um, I don't know. I guess they've got somewhere where they store it. Because, yeah. I I've been around here a little bit. Well, not a lot. But a few times. And, um, yeah, I haven't seen it around. Maybe they just bring it out from wherever they keep it when they actually need it. Um, Right. Anyway. I'm going to get this all strapped down, and um, we shall head back to the farm. Remember to lift that weight. This um, this tractor is so, so freaking loud, though. Because it's got no cab, it is stupidly loud. So I do apologize if it gets a little bit difficult to hear me over the, um, the engine noise. All right, we're lifting the front wheels. A little bit here it's not liking the weight because it's not over the um, the axle so it's putting a lot of weight on the back of the tractor here anyway we are going to take this back to the farm and we'll get the the planter filled up and we'll head to the fields all right safely back at the farm we'll get the um the planter here filled up real quick and uh, let's just get that hooked up beautiful Right. And there's still loads of fertilizer in the front tank, so that's not a problem. Um, but we'll get some corn seed in here. Okay. That is full. Lovely. Really looking forward to getting out in this field. I don't know why I'm so excited for this field in particular, but yeah. I don't know. I just kind of like... Um, Seeding corn as well. I don't know what it is about it. Yeah, it just feels, I don't know, a little bit more special than other crops. And I have absolutely no idea why. But yeah, quite excited for this. As I, I think I'm also um, maybe more excited for the final result uh, once we get to harvesting. Because... Um, yeah, a lot of prep work went into this field here. And um, both of them, actually. Well, all of them, really. But, um, yeah. Quite excited for this. Righty. So, um, we are probably going to do a headland here. And uh, we'll make sure everything works. I'll just check that everything is hooked up okay. Uh, looks like I remembered everything. Beautiful. Uh, does it run? It does indeed. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll do a headland. And probably go around two or three times just because it can be a bit tricky. I mean, I, I just generally drive over the, the like um, brush and bushes and stuff on the edge here. But um, yeah, I would like to have a bit more turning around space if possible. With this planter, it's not too bad. With the cedar, I can imagine it's probably a little bit more... Um, tricky because it's longer but yeah maybe we might actually just use this we might just empty it out and use this for uh, the soybean as well thinking about it since we've got everything connected already we might might just empty it out and and do the soybean with this as well it'll work just fine so yeah we might actually do that right it looks like everything is going relatively well yeah. Looks pretty good. Again, we have the um, sort of the stubble on the field here. Um, after harvest, we might actually look into uh, getting rid of the stubble uh, next time round. So yeah, we'll we'll have to speak to Old Man Joe about that because we don't have a roll or anything that 
will actually break that up. So, um, yeah, we might have to get something like that. But just help it a little bit. I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's really not that bad. But um, I would like to, to get rid of it um, after the next harvest. So, yeah, we might um, have a little bit of a chat to him about that. So, yeah, I think we're going to get um, this headland done. We'll probably go around two or three times. Uh, of course, we'll also have to do rolling. Uh, so we'll get this knocked out and then we'll come back with the roller and go over the field with that uh, just to make sure that there's good um, soil contact with all of the seeds sort of maximize um, maximize the germination and uh, growth of uh, these seeds so yeah I guess we are gonna get the drone out and we are gonna get the rest of this done so for now sit back relax and enjoy So that is corn planting done and dusted and that was that was great I really enjoyed it and it's all looking really good so I'm hoping this is gonna be a very good field for us and um, yeah a lot of work that went into all of this but um, yeah I was gonna roll this right now uh, but I had a bit of a change of plans I cleared out the cedar and I have got soybeans in there at the moment because I don't want to take the cedar and everything off. Because we need the 6250R uh, for rolling. Because the roller is big. Uh, but I don't want to take the cedar and everything off. And then roll. And then have to put the cedar and everything back on. Seed the soybeans. Then take everything off. Get the roller and roll that. So, um, yeah. And we, we do still have a bit of um, daylight left. Well, actually, quite a lot. It's relatively early. So, um, what we are going to do instead is we are going to head over and seed the soybean field and then we'll just get all of the rolling done um in one go as well so we'll probably get all of it done today i would say but um yeah very very happy with how this is turning out so far yeah like i say hopefully we'll get a, a good yield off of that and um, because that is sort of the important crop for us because that's our our base food um, for the pigs but uh, yeah, we have, like I said, soybean in here right now. So we are going to get ready over here. It's not a big field, so it really shouldn't take too long at all here. Especially with this um, plant that is quite big. All right. Let's get this lined up. We'll get a bit of a headland on here again. Lovely. There's relatively good amount of space on the edge of um, of these fields so it's not not too much of a concern on the other side is just a grass field so I don't want to be driving over it too much but it's not much of a problem and um, if we do all right we'll get this side done and then we'll kind of do hmm Will we do this by hand or 
GPS. We might actually get the the GPS set up and see if it likes it or not. Um, sometimes, yeah, the GPS doesn't like the um, shape of a field, but I think this one will be okay. Like, this field here is not very GPS friendly, I noticed, but um, yeah, I think this one will be okay. So yeah, I think we'll do that. I'll get the the GPS set up, see if it likes it or not. I think it'll be okay, because uh, it is sort of, yeah, parallel to the potato field there. Uh, at least this edge is, that one not so much. But yeah, I think we're going to get that set up. We'll get this field knocked out. And then I think we'll just jump straight into rolling as well. We'll get the rolling knocked out, and that'll basically be a seeding and rolling done for the moment. And um, yeah we shall take it from there so we're gonna jump back into a time lapse and get this done so for now sit back relax and enjoy That is all of the work done for today. I'm very happy with that, I have to say. Corn is planted, soybeans done, all of the rolling done. So yeah, basically now it's um, it's a waiting game. I'm very, very happy with the progress that we made today. I genuinely didn't think that we will um, get the soybeans done as well. But I'm very happy that we did. Righty. Equipment is also cleaned up. Looking good. I uh, cleaned up the roller as well. And that is put away. So that's fantastic. Okay. Cedars cleaned up. Put away. Everything is where it needs to be. That is good. Get that closed up. Righty. So yeah. That is that done. My goodness, we actually got it done quicker than what I was expecting, to be completely honest, which is great because it also frees up a bit of time. Um, I, I don't think we'll have to do any more fertilizing or anything on the fields here. Uh, we'll ob obviously have to uh, keep an eye out for uh, weeds that might pop up and take care of them if needs be. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. I think we'll get a decent yield of uh, soybeans over there. Um, it is one of the smallest fields that we have uh, on the property. But um, yeah, it's fine because we do have loads of soybeans in storage still. Uh, so that's why I sort of opted to go for soybeans over there. Um, but yeah, that is technically um, seeding done. 
except for of course um, wheat that will eventually go on to the field up at the overflow farm and speaking of which I actually want to run up there real quick and see how that field is doing I haven't been there for a little bit it would be interesting to see what's happening over there but yeah that will eventually um, be turned into a wheat field at the moment it's obviously seeded with um, with grass hoping to get maybe one or two cuts uh, off of that I'm sort of a bit anxious if we'll actually get one cut at all um, but if all goes really well we might get um, we might get two I don't know it just depends on how quickly things move here but uh, yeah oh yeah that looks wow that looks lovely very nice everything has turned green uh, quite quickly I have to say like all of the vegetation and trees around have started to get their color back so that's fantastic but yeah this field is looking really good oh my goodness I I think we'll definitely get a cut off of this hmm that looks really nice wow that grew quickly I mean I was I was here a few days ago but it didn't look this good that's fantastic hopefully we'll get a bit more rain help it along a little bit but yeah wow I'm very happy with that okay we might actually be able to get two cuts off of this uh, before we change this into a wheat field big field as well so this will all be turned into silage I think uh, the, the grass field down there will uh, do hay bales again because we are going through hay, um, hay quite quickly um, so yeah but this will be this will be silage yeah it's nice uh, with the season change that everything's starting to go green again and all of the little bushes and that are getting leaves again lovely very very nice love this time of year where everything just starts getting its color back again you know summer's on its way yeah i'm very happy with that but yeah we had a, a very good day on the farm today i'm very very happy with the progress and uh, like i said that's basically seeding done we'll keep an eye out if there's any weeds or anything that pops up we'll take care of that but shouldn't be a big deal and then we'll just see if, if anything needs a bit more um fertilize or anything like that then we'll take care of it but yeah other than that we might be able to start looking around um some other things to do maybe start exploring uh, the area a little bit as well because we should have a bit of uh, time on our hands but uh, yeah i guess we are gonna leave it there for today though so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all next time